Thank you, Dick. That is all with the weather. July 3rd, 1947, Roswell, New Mexico. William Brazil found pieces of heavy duty lightweight metal. They were described as having strange hieroglyphics and some spectators believe it happens to be an alien spacecraft. Most scientists are stating it's not a UFO, and it's just a crashed weather balloon. As you can see here, this is what the scientists are claiming to be weather balloon. Here we have another bunch of bananas. B A M A M A S. Clearly, you can see this is banana balloon. It clearly looks like what is shown over here. This is labeled as a weather balloon. I'm going to show you a short reenactment of what might have actually happened. Good morning, my husband, William Brazil. I have your breakfast for you. Here you go. Thanks. I made you your favorite. Now to our on-scene reporter, Nigel Thornberry, with William Brazil. Thank you, Johnson. Uh, I have here with me William Brazil. And, uh, what exactly happened this morning? Well, I was eating breakfast, and I noticed this big spaceship back in my field. And... Two seconds later, it crashed right in my field, and there's this metal that left all on the ground. And it's nothing like any of the metals I've seen on Earth. It's really, really flexible. It's fun to play with. Uh, I think that's about it. Now, you say you called the cops out, right? Yes. Yes. And uh, what did they do? Precautions did they take? Well, the cops actually, they they said that it wasn't a spaceship, they said that it was a weather balloon, and they, they took most of my metals, but I put some of it in my shed so that they wouldn't take it, but but they took most of it, and they said it was a weather balloon. Sounds like a cover-up to me. Back to you, Johnson. <laughs> Thanks, Nigel! Here is a controversial video about the alien autopsy. Is it real or fake? You decide. And if there are any women and children watching, you might want to leave the room, especially if there are any queasy men out there. You should close your eyes because it's about to get super duper scary horrible. <laughs>
here's another eyewitness report. Thank you, Johnson. Uh, we have here uh, to have seen a man who signed claims uh, from his neighbor's uh, yard. Yeah. I tell you, I see it. I see it. I, I was I was looking outside, and uh, all of a sudden, a light. It, it came at me. It was in. Stop laughing! It was. It was in the sky. It came out of nowhere. It came out of nowhere. It, it, it dropped down to the ground. It dropped down to the, a, a light. You said. It's a light. It dropped down to the ground. Yeah. And this is. Oh shit. Oh shit. There was a crash. There was a crash on the ground. It was so loud. It made me fall over like this. I fell on the ground like this. I didn't know what to do. All I had to do was hold myself. I was praying to God that he wouldn't strike me. I didn't know what it was. But I can tell you this. It wasn't from this planet. It wasn't. But, well then, where do you think it's from, if not from this planet? Well, I'm not sure, really, where it could have been. Maybe there's other planets out there. Maybe there's other planets like this one. And they all, they sit around and they're trying to look for us, like we're looking for them. And then just sit there, and they look, and they look for us. And they're green. And they have nipples, but not like our nipples. They're not like our nipples! And Did you hear that? Did you hear that? What did I tell you? What did I tell you about embarrassing me? What did I tell you? They don't believe me. Believe me. They don't believe me. I try to tell them. But it doesn't work! Oh my goloshes. Do you have anything else to say? Those aliens. They stole my pap! They stole my old man! I love you, pap. I'd be lost without you. Hey, where are you going? To put the bodies. They didn't think about that, did they? This is Channel 51 News saying aliens may be out there. This is Nigel Thornberry signing out. This here, the little book of conspiracies, is where the facts are straight. The news is wrong. The 1947 weather balloon story was indeed an example of disinformation. In, the in 1997, the U.S. Air Force released the document Roswell. Case closed. 
which set out the story of what happened. What crashed was a balloon from top secret projector module, a program of high altitude radar research. The so-called evidence of the UFO community what does not hold up to scrutiny the unearthly metals. The nerd said to have attacked on a vital secret information never existed. The alien autopsy shows it clearly an imposter, the alien, an almost exact replica of a model used in a film about Roswell. The procedure bears no resemblance to a real autopsy. The in the in Unearthly metals were simply reflective material from the balloon. Tales of recovered bodies are garbled memories. From the 1950s, balloon chests using crash test dummies, possibly from the wreckage of a fuel plane where the corpse of the crew were badly burned. Okay. I'm a Harvard man. I know what's right. If you believe the news, you're, you're stupid.